What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross, I like games, and today, it's nearly Christmas. I've got my Santa beard rolling, also known as my I've got a four-week-old kid. Shaving has not been a priority, beard. And, I've got a bag I want to talk about, which is not something we do very often, right? But the lovely folks at Gem, right, they hit me up on Twitter, and they said, hey, do you want to have one of our bags to review? Now, what I said to them very simply was, only if you want me to give a full, frank, and honest review. And they said, obviously. And I went, oh, cool, yes, yeah, send one over. So full disclosure, at the start of this video, this was provided by Gem. I did not pay for this bag. They sent it over for me to do a review. But they agreed that I could be honest with them. Now, first things first, this is a weird bag. Like a really weird bag. Let's go through the pockets, right? We have a pocket on the top, which only goes down like halfway through the bag. And it's got various things to keep in here. And there's a zip pocket, which isn't particularly large. But it's large enough to fit some stuff in. It's really hard to figure out how to show a bag off on camera. So there's a kind of your main pocket where you fit a bunch of stuff in. But it only goes halfway down the bag. On the side... We've got a lovely little pocket here, and it actually has this that comes out. So you can have decks or whatever it might be actually fitting in here. Incidentally, good news is I've always got like a billion deck boxes lying around. And the good news is, right, we can put a bunch of decks in there, and they fit in quite nicely. And then they just slide back in. That is why the main pocket of the bag only goes halfway down. Main pocket, and then the second half of it comes out into essentially this. It's a little bit weird, but I kind of like it. It doesn't have to be for decks, but it could be for decks. Now, the other thing I really like about this, if we go and grab ourselves a playmat, and I must I haven't actually had a very good look at this, this bag at all so far, but a playmat will fit... Oh, no. Almost fit in there. Oh, it's a little bit too long. Oh, that's upsetting. I really thought that was going to fit in nicely. There are other places to put a playmat. Don't worry. But if that fit in there, that would have been absolutely beautiful. But I think it is just a little bit longer than the bag is wide. So it's not actually... No, it's not going to fit. Boo, hiss, etc. Can't have it all, ladies and gentlemen. Can't have it all. But we've got a lovely pocket, which is kind of a side pocket, kind of a... An underneath pocket. And then as we go around the other side, it's just for your water bottle, right? There's a thing for your water bottle. I don't have a water bottle right now. I do have a glass. There we go. Boom. Incidentally, water in that glass. That's important. So we've got a thing for your water bottle there. Let's go underneath. We've got a front pocket here. And the front pocket is, well, it's a bit like that. It's about yay big. And it's quite flat. Not 100% sure what's designed to go in there, if I'm honest with you. Papers. Or, or your phone. But don't put your phone in the front pocket because it'd be really easy to nick. So don't do that. Now there is another pocket, I told you it's a weird bag, on the side here. And I believe this is designed for binders. Now, I did... I'm going old school. I have a triumphant nine pocket binder here. And I tell you what. Wait, no, 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 no. It's supposed to fit perfectly. Why doesn't it fit? It almost fits. That's upsetting. I think I could be wrong. It's supposed to be designed for nine pocket binders. And this, this bit here. I mean, this is my nine pocket, but look, I got a load of mammoth swines on the front. Love me some mammoth swine. This should fit in nicely, but it's just a little bit, it's just a little bit not wide enough. No, that is not going. Maybe that's not where it's supposed to go. That's, that's, that's sad. There's no way my bigger nine pocket binder is going to fit in there. So, oh, and then on the back, there's more. There is a little pocket on the back here, which, I'm going to be honest with you, right? 
tokens or something. It's, ab it's about the size of my hand. It's a tiny bit bigger than my hand. Now, the thing is, that's a lot of pockets, right? Oh, wait. Oh, that's so weird. Right, there are two of them. There are two pockets, but they don't meet. They actually overlap. So I can put both my hands in if I get cold or something. I don't know. That's a bit weird. My point is we've actually got extra pockets here as well. So let's revise the pockets. Little pockets at the side on the back for slotting in little things. We've got a flat pocket on the front. We've got a pocket here, which I think is for... I think it's designed for a nine pocket binder, but the nine pocket binder I've got doesn't fit in there. Yeah, it says on the thing it holds a nine pocket binder, but I'm not I'm not seeing that, unfortunately. We've got the front thing here, which is a very flat pocket to do with as you will. We've got the pocket for deck boxes. I adore this, incidentally. This is one of my favorite things about the bag. Fits three deck, and you'll notice one of the deck boxes I'm using is an Ultra Pro Transformers deck box. Which is bigger than your average... I've got two Transformers decks in there. It's bigger than your average deck box. So, that fits in quite nicely. There's also... I don't know what this is. This was in the pocket. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a rain cover. It's a little cover to put over your bag to protect it when it rains. Okay, that is a cool touch. I like that. That makes me kind of happy. We've then got the big main pocket... And the big main pocket here fits all your stuff, has a zip pocket on the inside, and now, here's a weird thing. It's actually got a locking mechanism, so you can lock it. Now, I showed this to my father-in-law, and the first thing my father-in-law said was, it's a canvas bag. Yeah, he's right, but at a tournament, as much as we like to think this would never happen... We've all heard stories about people nicking stuff from bags. Maybe somebody will go into your bag and nick a, a deck box. No one's going to nick it by cutting the bag. That's a little bit over the top. Now, in terms of comfort, it is beautiful. It's got the straps that go over your chest, which make it comfortable. It's got really big, bouncy things here. You'll have to take my word for it. It is a super comfortable backpack to wear. And it is a really, really convenient backpack. So let's say, for argument's sake, I'm off to my Keyforge tournament. I've got my Game Vault. Game Vaults are awesome. Now, this is where my big pocket comes in. Because this fits in there rather nicely. Oh, and I've, I've got a bunch of Keyforge decks here as well. Because why would I not take a bunch of random Keyforge decks to a Keyforge tournament? So they'll go in there quite nicely. Oh, to be fair, right, I've got some tokens in here. I've got some tokens in this. Probably should take a couple packs of sleeves. If anyone's ever wondering, right, whether I actually play all of these games, whether I just make videos, hopefully by now you're realizing I've got so much of this stuff just in easy reach because this is basically all I do. So they fit in there quite nicely. And there's still a whole bunch of room, right? There's a lot fits in here. All your lunch goes in there. Because honestly, your deck box... It's a bit of a weird one. Your deck boxes fit better in the bottom. But then if you're really worried about security, you want to put them in the locking section on the top. If you go in a tournament like I am quite a lot, I have a habit, right? Where when I go to... If I go to a Pokemon tournament, I will take a Keyforge deck and a Transformers deck just in case somebody might want to play a game with me. I wouldn't want to disappoint them. This is going to fit everything. It's very, very comfortable. It's got lots and lots of different pockets. My only real criticism with the bag, I don't think it holds a nine pocket binder. Now, having said all of that, here is my conclusion. This is my new tournament bag. I'm hoping they don't want it back if I'm honest with you. I'm not planning on sending it back. They haven't asked me to send it back. This is my new tournament bag. I adore it. But... I don't tend to do much trading at tournaments. I tend to rock up with like 10 different decks and three different games. I rock up with a multitude of different playmats. And that will all fit super nicely in here. Now, 
One other thing. Where's my playmat going? And it really depends, right? If I'm putting my playmat nice and flat, there's like 17 different pockets into which it will fit. This will actually go in your nine pocket binder bag. I could probably get it in the one on the front. Can I roll it up and get it in that back pocket? Only one way to find out. You'll notice, right, that this, this wasn't some kind of big giant planned review. It was a let's figure out if it's good together. I'll be honest with you. If you want to keep your play mat in a tube, I don't know where it's going. Now, in terms of getting it in the bag, it's easy. It will fit super easily into that front pocket. Boom. Done. But if I'm rolling up my playmat, and I know an awful lot of people go to tournaments with playmats in tubes, for instance. I don't know where this is going. Now, the problem is, a playmat is wider than the bag. So, there's no pocket where I'm going to get it fit nicely into the bag. It, it, it's physically impossible. But also, because the pocket is split into two... I cannot put it down like I usually would. There's nowhere in the bag where it's fully upright because they split the main pocket into two. And I like splitting the main pocket into two because I've got my decks down there and I've got all my tokens and stuff in the top bit. But if, if you want to roll your play mat, that's your option. And it works perfectly, but that's for me, that's my water bottle pocket. And a lot of bags have both. Now, what you could do in a lot of bags, but you can't. Because if you leave that side pocket open, this is falling out. So, it's incredibly comfortable. You can fit a huge amount in there. One of my biggest pet hates when I go to a tournament is I will go in with, like I say, genuinely like 10 different decks and three different games. And they're all just in one pocket in my bag. This fixes that beautifully. But if you don't want to fold your playmat, if you want to keep it rolled, it's got to go here and then there's no water bottle pocket. So, I've been rambling on for a little while now. Oh, I'm being dumb. I am being dumb. There is another pocket. And this one will fit them. Oh, okay. That fits quite nicely. Right. There we go. And you knew this was going to happen because you saw the notes on screen. I've just put two in there quite nice. It fits in there beautifully. Now, will it fit? Oh, actually, there's even a little dividing bit to put two in there properly. That's quite beautiful. And they will actually fit in there really nicely. I'm still struggling where to put my play mat. Well, I'm not. I fold it. But some people who want to keep it rolled will. Will it take my giant folder? Yes, but I wouldn't want to. It's a bit of a squeeze. I can do that. Up. I'm not going to because I love my old binder. I could do that up and that would fit. I'm not risking that with my binder. Okay. I was being dumb. There was another pocket at the back. I told you there were lots of confusing pockets. So, in conclusion, love the bag. Don't know where I'm putting my play mat because this is my water bottle pocket. And there is nowhere else to put the playmat up. Unless, of course, you want to put your playmat in the back pocket. In which case it will fit. But you don't want to put it in your back pocket in a tube. Because that's going to be super uncomfortable. Yeah. Okay. So these front pockets are literally just bonus pocket. I don't know what goes in them. Whatever you want, I suppose. I'm giving this bag... Between four and five wassies. We don't give half wassies. That would be barbaric. I like all of the pockets. I don't know where I'm putting my play mat. Unless there's another pocket I haven't found. Which might happen. I missed one first time round. It's a very fun bag. There's a lot of cool stuff. But I am not without my reservations as to play mats. You've got your side pocket. You've got folding it up. But if you want to take a bottle, and you should never turn up to a tournament without a bottle of water. If you want to take a bottle of water and a playmat in a tube, I'm not sure where the playmat's going. Awesome. Alrighty then. And we finally fixed the nine pocket binder scenario. It was this extra one at the back all along. 
Right, that's enough of a review. Thank you to the people at Gem for sending this over. Let me take a look at it. Personally, I like it. it like I say, it is my new tournament bag. And if you see me at tournaments in the near future, I mean, beard's because of the kid, so kid might hurt the tournament going. But if you see me at a tournament in the near future, you'll see me with this bag. It's really cool. Except for the playmat issue. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that'll do for now. Make sure you tell me what you think about this in the comment section. Is this something you're looking into? Go nuts, be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, where we can talk about games. Yay! But by far the most important thing, as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wossy Plays.